In this video, we'll do an example of a uniform motion problem involving a quadratic equation. Here's the problem. A motorboat heads upstream a distance of 24 miles on a river whose current is running at 3 miles per hour. The trip up and back takes 6 hours. Assuming that the motorboat maintained a constant speed relative to the water, what was its speed? So a couple things that we have to understand about the, the physics involved here. When the motorboat is heading upstream, it's heading against the current. So that 3 miles an hour would get subtracted from the speed of the boat. When the boat is heading downstream, it's traveling with the current, and so the 3 miles per hour current is being added to the speed of the boat. And the impo other important thing that we need to keep in mind here is the relationship that distance equals rate times time. So let's see how these pieces all fit together. So a good way to organize our information here is to make a little chart. Then since there's two parts of our trip, the upstream trip and the downstream trip, let's consider them separately for now. So as the problem says, the motorboat has a constant speed relative to the water, but we don't exactly know what that speed is. But since it's a rate, let's call it r. But the upstream rate of the boat is actually r minus 3, because it's the boat speed minus the current that it's traveling against. Similarly, the downstream rate of the boat is going to be r plus 3, because it's that boat's speed plus the 3 miles per hour that the current is assisting the boat. It's making the boat go a little bit faster. The distance we're given in the problem is 24 miles for each part of the trip. 24 miles upstream and 24 miles downstream. So what about the time? Well again, we know that distance equals rate times time. And so that means that time is going to equal distance divided by rate. So in this case, the time for the upstream part of the trip is going to be 24 divided by r minus 3. And the time for the downstream part of the trip will be 24 divided by r plus 3. And the other piece of information that the problem tells us is that the sum of those two times is, is 6 hours. So that gives us an equation to solve. And the equation looks something like this. 24 divided by r minus 3, that was the upstream time, plus 24 divided by r, minus, r plus 3, that was the downstream time, equals 6. So let's solve this equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by something that's going to clear out those denominators. In this case, we're going to multiply both sides by r minus 3 times r plus 3. And a whole bunch of stuff is going to happen, so let's try to follow through here. So when we multiply this fraction by r minus 3 times r plus 3, the r minus 3s will divide out. And so what we'll, what we'll be left with is 24 times the quantity r plus 3. And when we multiply the second fraction by r minus 3 times r plus 3, the r plus 3s will divide out. And so what we'll end up with is 24 times r minus 3. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, there's nothing to divide out, so we just get 6 times r minus 3 times r plus 3. So we've gotten rid of our ugly fractions, but now we've got some more algebra to do to simplify this. So let's start multiplying things out. On the left-hand side, when we distribute the 24, we get 24r plus 24 times 3 is 72. Distribute the other 24, 24 times r minus 24 times 3 is 72. We might recognize r minus 3 times r plus 3 as a difference of two squares, and so that's going to be r squared minus 9. On the left-hand side, 72 cancels with minus 72. 24r plus 24r is 48r. And then on the right-hand side, we have 6r squared, and then 6 times 9 is 54. As usual, when solving quadratic equations, we want to get everything to one side. So let's just subtract 48r from both sides. That gives us 6r squared minus 48r minus 54. It's at this point that we could use the quadratic formula. Nothing wrong with that. But this actually factors somewhat nicely, so let's do that. First, let's pull out a 6. When we factor 6 out of this, we get r squared. Uh, factoring 6 out of 48 gives us 8. And then factoring 6 out of 54 gives us 9. 54 divided by 6 is 9. And now r squared minus 8r minus 9, that does factor. We're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give us minus 9, 
and add together to give us minus 8. And the numbers we're looking for are negative 9 and positive 1. So that means that our solutions are r equals 9 and r equals negative 1. But remember that this was the speed of a boat, so a negative answer doesn't make sense here. And so the answer that we're looking for is r equals 9, and the units would be miles per hour.